Hi there, my name is Greg Snell with UAV Coach, and in this video, we're gonna cover a step-by-step -step guide to drone insurance. Let's get started. Here's what we're gonna learn in this video. Do I even need drone insurance? Liability versus hull insurance, and how much does drone insurance cost? So first things first, do I even need drone insurance? And is it required by law? If you plan on flying for commercial work or on behalf of your company or for any non-recreational purpose, then we would say that getting yourself some drone insurance would be a smart move. Here are a few examples of when you may actually even need drone insurance. If you plan on applying for a film permit for a specific project, then you may need to provide proof of insurance in order to obtain that permit. Also, if you're planning on working for any like multinational corporations or big businesses, big companies, they often require their vendors to provide proof of liability insurance and often a minimum of up to like a million dollars depending on the company and the project. I know from personal experience that a couple years back I had a job with the Catalonian Tourism Board in Northeast Spain and they knew that I was going to be getting some drone content and they wanted me to provide proof of liability insurance in order to get that job. So I was able to provide that and then they were happy with it. I signed the contract. We were all good. Uh, the point is that you know, for commercial work, you almost always want to get yourself insured. Now, does this mean that all drone pilots need liability coverage? No. If you're flying recreationally and you have, say, a smaller drone and you're just flying in your backyard or your local park, then you probably don't need $1 million worth of liability coverage. However, if you plan on flying for like bigger operations or for bigger companies or to insure yourself as a professional drone pilot or your gear, then you definitely want to look into getting drone insurance. Now, is drone insurance required by law? No, in the United States, drone insurance is not required by the Federal Aviation Administration. That is the case for both recreational and commercial use drones. However, even though it's not required by the FAA, some individual states can require that individual drone operators have drone insurance. For example, if you live in Minnesota, you do need specific drone insurance depending on the type of drone that you're flying. More information can be found about this in every individual state in the US in the UAV Coach Drone Loss Directory, which is is linked in the description below. So even though drone insurance is not required by law, it may still be necessary depending on what the plan is for your flight operation. Best practice is to always research any local drone laws and regulations and try and follow those and adhere to those regulations in your pre-flight mission planning. We would also suggest covering yourself for any kind of liability or haul insurance before any kind of big operation. It's just better to have that coverage. So let's take this inside and talk about the different types of drone insurance. The two most common types of drone insurance are drone liability insurance and drone hull insurance. I have both. In terms of liability insurance, you can think of it like your typical car insurance. The policy protects you against any third party claims of property damage or injury. Things like crashing your drone into a building or someone else's house, or if you're chasing a really expensive car and you happen to hit that car, or even more unfortunate of an incident is if you actually hit somebody and then you're the one getting sued to cover their medical costs. Of course, there are varying degrees of liability insurance, so make sure to always consult the fine print of your policy to make sure that things like negligence and privacy infringement claims would also be covered. With liability drone insurance policies, limits typically start at around $500,000, but this can go as high as is required by the business and its operations or the clients. One of our team members here at UAV Coach, he flew for an engineering company earlier this year and they required a minimum of $5 million liability insurance, which he was able to get through Skywatch, which we'll talk about later in this video. It's not unheard of in the UAS industry to see minimum insurance policies for liability to reach up to as high as $10 million per an occurrence. The second is hull insurance. This is where you're insuring the actual physical drone. So if you're flying a DJI drone, you may want to consider getting this type of coverage directly through them, which is known as DJI Care. However, there are other drone insurance companies that offer this same sort of protection that serves the same purpose. I personally have my hull insurance through a private provider. However, DJI Care is very popular and they offer three different plans 
which we're going to go over right now in this video. DJI Care is only available for older Phantom or Inspire models. These are pre-Mavic series drones. The DJI Care covers damage to these older aircrafts, the gimbals, or the camera during either normal use or accidental damage. And if you are in the region in which you purchased your DJI Care, shipping costs will be covered by DJI. Now we're assuming that most of you watching this have already purchased a new DJI drone, and maybe you're looking to evaluate the differences in the DJI Care insurance packages, especially DJI Care Refresh and the Refresh Plus. Now, I personally don't have either of these policies, but I have heard really good reviews from friends and colleagues that have used them. So let's go over the two right now. DJI Care Refresh is the most common plan being sold right now and is structured similar to DJI Care. However, if you choose the Express option, the plan allows you to skip the damage assessment and quotation process, which then allows a DJI repair center to ship you a replacement product as soon as it receives your damaged product. The one-year refresh plan includes up to two replacements in a single year with accidental damage covered by this replacement service. This includes collisions and even water damage. So assuming you have an accident and you need to have your drone repaired or replaced, with the refresh plan and the express option, a DJI service center will ship you a replacement as soon as they receive your damaged drone. DJI Care Refresh Plus is essentially an extension of refresh by adding one additional year of coverage and two more repairs or replacements if necessary. Refresh Plus also takes it one step further by providing coverage for damage caused by user error or manufacturing defect. It also allows you to skip the damage assessment and quotation process just like the Express option with the original Refresh. So essentially you have a few different options with DJI Care, but again, all seem to get good reviews from friends and colleagues worldwide. All right, so we talked about the two most common types of drone insurance, liability and hull. I wanna take a moment to acknowledge that you might wanna consider insuring other things as well. For example, you can get a payload insurance policy. And what that means is that you might be carrying a really expensive camera, like an RE Alexa or a Red Komodo, or maybe you're flying a thermal imagery camera or even a LiDAR camera. I know that if I was taking 20,000 plus dollars worth up into the air, I'd probably want that to be insured. Other things to consider when you're looking to insure additional things would be your equipment on the ground. Things like ground stations, laptops, tablets, UAS cases, your controllers, any extra batteries, all that stuff can be insured. Not to mention additional coverage for things like non-owned gear or even personal injury insurance. For example, of another type of policy, here at UAB Coach, we have a custom policy for our hands-on flight training program, which takes our personal needs into consideration. So with all that said, let's head back inside and talk about how much drone insurance costs and where can we get it. So as mentioned outside, there are many different things to keep in mind when considering what type of insurance you're looking to get for your drone operations. But for now, let's take it back to the two most common types of insurance, which are liability and hull insurance. So how much do they cost and where can we get them? So first things first is on-demand insurance. Now you may not have heard of this before, uh, but it is becoming increasingly popular with drone pilots and something that I personally will look into because during the research for this video, I've realized that this can be more cost-effective and time-effective for somebody like me. Now why I say that is because as drone pilots, Maybe we don't know how often we're going to be working or we only need specific insurance protection from job to job. So it's much easier to buy on-demand drone insurance for like one individual uh, operation than it is to say work with a traditional insurance broker to underwrite a policy that uh, spans the entire year. So it's also, you know, it can be more cost effective if you're not flying full time. Now I do work as a commercial drone pilot, but it's not my everyday job. So I don't necessarily need you know, an annual plan, which I have had for quite a while for both liability and hull insurance. So on-demand insurance is a really great option for drone pilots. An example of an on-demand insurance provider in Europe and worldwide is known as Flock Cover. Now this is a very good option if you're looking to get on-demand drone insurance for any kind of global operation. In the US, there are a few different options and one that we mentioned earlier in this video that our team here at UAV Coach uses is known as Skywatch. These are just two examples of on-demand insurance providers. However, we've got a detailed list of both on-demand insurance providers and drone insurance brokers on our website under the drone insurance guide, which is linked in the description below. For hull coverage, where you're insuring the actual drone, a DJI Care refresh for the Mavic 2 Pro starts at $159 per year. Now there's much more information on the actual DJI Care website, which we've referenced in this video. So you wanna check that out if that's the route that you're looking to go. 
I personally have both liability and hull insurance through a private provider, and it costs me about $600 per year. Now, I have had friends and colleagues that have used DJI Care for claims, and they've only had good experiences. So that says a lot about DJI Care. Drone insurance is something that all UAV pilots should look into and definitely consider purchasing when necessary. I know from my own personal experience that I own an annual plan for both liability and hull insurance and have done for the last few years. However, through researching and creating this video, I've realized that the on-demand options are much better suited for me. So with that said, I don't think I'm going to renew my policy come next year. I'm going to focus on the on-demand information we shared in this video and purchase those policies when necessary for my client work. So let us know what you think of the step-by-step -step guide to drone insurance in the comments below, and we can begin that conversation there. From everybody here at UAV Coach Team, we're wishing you blue skies and safe flying.